equations and inequalities. What is the difference between equations and inequalities? Part 2 is, what is the difference between solving equations and solving inequalities? So I have purposely given two parts because I want students to understand what is the difference between solving equations and solving inequalities also. Right. Normally the question is asked just what is the difference between equations and inequalities and you are supposed to answer both parts. Correct. Now, so if you look at an equation, you will normally see equal to sign, right? That is what equation is. And there is something on the left side and something on the right side of an equation with the equal to sign. In case of inequality, you see the inequality signs which are less than, less than, equal to or greater than or greater than, equal to, right? So these are the inequality signs which you see in inequality. So that is one difference between the two. Second is when you solve one equation, you get fixed number of solutions, one or two few solutions, right? So like they are concrete or discrete numbers as such. For inequalities, what you get is a range of solutions, right? So here we, here we have limited number of solutions and here we have a range of solutions. When we say something is greater than something else, then we say, well, within the limit of this or from here to here it is greater than. So these <coughs> solutions are within a range. Now the second part is, what is the difference between solving equation and solving inequalities? Well, most part, same principles and rules are followed for solving equations and inequalities. However, there is one major difference and that is that you cannot multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides. If you do so, then you have to change the sign of inequality. For example, let me take a very simple example. In case of an equation, you can multiply, divide by same number on both sides, whether it is negative or positive, there is no difference. But in case of inequality, let's say we have 7 greater than 5, correct? Now if I multiply by minus 1 from both sides, it becomes minus 7 and that becomes minus 5. You will note that minus 7 is actually less than minus 5, correct? So when you multiply or divide by a negative number, the sign changes. So you need to take care of this sign as such. Now let me give you one more example with variables. For example, if I have um, an inequality saying 1 over 2x is greater than 2x, for example. Now I cannot write like 1 is greater than 4x square, that is multiplying by 2x on both sides. Now why can't I do it? You can't do it because x could be a negative number, right? Because x belongs to the domain of real numbers. If x is negative, I should have changed the sign. Do you understand that? Therefore, to solve this kind of an inequality, always what we are supposed to do is, we are always supposed to write 1 over 2x minus 2x is greater than 0 and then solve the inequality, correct? Otherwise, you can't solve the inequality. That will lead to a wrong solution. Correct? So this is one of the major things which you need to take care of when you are solving inequalities. You can't multiply or divide by a negative number. Right? If you do so, well, if I have 1 minus x is greater than 7, then I can do that minus x is greater than 7 minus 1 which is 6 that means x is less than 6 so when I multiply minus 6 so when I multiply by minus both sides then I have to change this sign so that is kind of very important operation which is in inequalities which we need to do uh, and not in equations well equation is equal to so it doesn't really matter much right so this is of huge importance thank you